to think long and hard about how I should answer this. And you know what? I don't mean any disrespect uh, by saying it. We see athletes win major athletic events and they say, God is good, all glory to God. So, so God chose you to win the Super Bowl? How utterly me focused. And then we see these other people and say, oh, you know, I just, I love Jesus. Okay. Okay, that's good. But Jesus is really very challenging. Have you picked up your Bible and actually read Jesus and some of the things that he had to say? Because some of them, uh, you know, Jesus is not there to make people comfortable in the way that some of them, oh, I just love Jesus. Like some of the way that these people talk, they're like all about the good parts. They're not about challenging parts. And even a month or so ago, we were talking, some friends of mine and I, about this whole Jesus is King thing that's going on. I agree, right? He's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But I think the wonderful importance of your question, it can't be understated. Because you're asking me if I think if that's sufficient. And I think that that's almost political pandering. I think that that is almost and saying, you know, oh, well, Jesus is the one who wears the crown, so y'all gonna bow down. And where I'm inclined to agree at the same time, that's not, that's kind of like a hard-nosed approach, kind of like a wrong-headed approach to presenting somebody with the good news about the arrival of the kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there seem to be a lot of people who just post in Jesus as king. So my question, when I get asked something like this, is what does the Bible actually say? What does Paul say in Romans 10.9? He says, uh, this is the confession of faith that we preach, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. What a powerful statement about fealty to Jesus. He is, he is my Lord and he is the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Because Jesus can be king, he just be some king. But is he your Lord? And if he's your Lord, does your life actually look like he's your Lord. Paul says more than that, doesn't he? In 1 Corinthians 12, he says, I want to inform you that nobody who speaks by the Spirit can say Jesus is accursed, but no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit of God. So if you can confess that Jesus is Lord, that's the proof that the Holy Spirit is in you. If you can say that Jesus is Lord and, and you really mean it, But does your life back that up? The Lord himself said, whoever will be my disciple must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. So thank you for what I consider is an important question. If you wanna ask me, no. I don't think that is sufficient. We have to confess Jesus as Lord our life has to say something about the Lordship of Christ. God bless you all.